Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna go into like horribly indecisive mode, cause especially because I got all my all my good trinkets back. I think we go. I think we definitely do this rampart trinket because it's really great. Min maxing? Uh, that, well, that's where I first heard about it. So not religious. I think. Uh, no, let's. I, if, if we're gonna do the profane scroll, it should be on on the now because I'm not gonna be able to. All right, so let's let's pop this on him. Nobody's religious. We'll just make him a, a psychotic. Um, this is oh I forgot I forgot all these great trinkets that I haven't used. Repulse plus 15 damage, range skills plus minus 15% damage. Extra dodge is good. On ranged attack, hit self mark. So we're not really using this the the ranged attacks. So yeah, I think we go full repost here. All right, perfect. Not many things are free of RNG. With proper planning, can minimize and eliminate randomness. <laughs> yeah, not only is Darkest Dungeon an inherently evil and difficult game, but it also makes you do math. <laughs> uh, Sun Torch? I mean, I guess we don't have to go super heavy on the crits here. You're not really much of a damage dealer, so... Eh, yeah, we'll give you a sun cloak. Why not? You can have a sun cloak. And I know I have some. Oh, I have these cool padlocks. No, this is what I want here. I don't need this other crap. Uh, yeah, a restraining padlock, and then this blood taint, blood taint strain. Hero can't dodge. Plus 25% blight amount applied. This is a cool trinket. So when he turns into a, a werewolf, he will just obliterate everything. Plus he, it, it, it buffs his natural state as well. <laughs> All I'm hearing is this is hell. Uh, all right. You can get the. You can. You can be all doji here. Actually, no. No, you can have this stuff. You'll be resistant to bleed. You'll get some doge. Get some death blow resist. What skills do we have for you? The vapors. The vapors. All right. Let's uh. Double check our skills here. Okay, everyone is as maxed as they can be here. Perfect, okay. <laughs> you get the formulas backwards. You know, and the, the funny thing is, I wouldn't even feel bad about that, Snarku. Uh, I have been playing D&D &D for... How old am I? 25 years, at least. And uh, every time we sit down to a session, we still meet once a month. And every single time I sit down to a session, the first thing, the first thing out of my mouth is, how do I play this game? Because I don't know. I, you know what? I play with people who are way smarter than me, so that I don't have to remember all the rules. <laughs> Throw some. Throw some dudes in the old amber workshop. Get some free labor out of them. Anybody else stressed out? How's how's the stress looking? Let's let's sort by stress. Um, nobody's stressed enough that I need to spend resources on it. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's double check our camping skills. Because I don't want to not have a way to prevent the ambush again. Alright, we're good there. Uh, you know, this is a phenomenal skill that I'm going to buy now. Perfect. Plus 20 stress. All companions minus 10 stress. A quickening. I don't need to spend more money on him, I think. Curious incantation. Seems like a pretty necessary thing to have, right? Produce a random trinket. Sounds like a good plan, Waffle. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, 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 again, just tell me what's a role. That's a, you know, I'm there, I'm there for the role play, you know, not the, not the role play. Oh, fear, fear of the dark. That was an Iron Maiden reference. Oh, so the blinking too. Yeah, so like when it blinks like that, the tuckered out just means it's it's new, I believe. Light sensitive is terrible. Ugh. Yeah, it means I haven't really looked at these yet. These are all newer heroes, I believe. There it is. Yeah. So, yeah, basically she'll incur more stress if the torch light is below. I didn't even talk about the torch light. Hi, Rayway with Accurate is pretty sexy. Yep. Quick draw. This, this guy's going places for sure. Not a huge fan of the scattering. I don't like the minus five crit either. Well, we can work on that though. Uh, I think we're ready to rock and roll here. All right, let me let me actually apply this skill. Get rid of pep talk. Perfect. All right, looks good. Let's do it. Yeah, I didn't even talk about the torchlight. We're gonna do this short mission here because. I'm getting a little on the tired side. Which short mission do I want to do, though? I think I wanted to go to the caverns, right? I don't know if I want to go to the catacombs again. I want to go to the exposed interior, because that's my favorite area. <laughs> I think... Uh... Let's do the caverns. I, you know, I, I'm mean to the caverns. I don't really give it the, the due that it has earned. All right, so we'll go. We'll go there. Base game handles torch differently from how it's done in BR. And base game enemies get buffs slower, right? Viewers take more stress, find more loot. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I think it's just. I think that's the game's one way of rewarding you for for making it intentionally more difficult, or for you know to kind of balance it out, I guess. Because only only idiots would attempt to do torchless runs on the highest difficulty. Only a true mental defective would 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 do such a thing. <laughs> oh, I slay me. Um. Take these basics here. Um, I don't really think we we don't need a whole lot of keys. Take some cleansing salts, maybe. Two alum sensors. Money is so shiny, in fact, that it just burns your eyes if you look at it in torchlight. Oh, good call. Uh, this looks good. Let's go. I should have taken more disease kits. The tooltip is correct.
With each atrocity and sacrifice, these creatures hover closer to achieving their dark divinity. At and least remedy this predicament. At least it's a straight line. <laughs> straight line of traps. Keep eyes oh peeled. my god, alright. So I've been here for two seconds. And my man at arms is wrecked. <laughs> Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Uh, track him. I think that's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. It works. Missed the bolster skill. It's been a while since I've taken these slower level guys out. I needed uh, needed a change of pace. I can definitely do some stuns here. Yeah. Music goes in hard. <laughs> goes harder in the dark. Yeah. Like I I want to do torchless in the caverns because it's so good. Blighted already. I don't think we can blight you guys. Well, I guess we can. Yeah, fester some vapors. Get rid of this punk. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned that. Spiritel is one of the devs of Black Reliquary, so he's kind of like chat royalty. Uh, let's definitely bellow these punks. <laughs> and yeah, it's one of those things I, I never really shut up about it either. I've, I'm like, I, I'm a self-admitted Black Reliquary fanboy at this point. Unashamed. Unashamed of it. He actually, uh, Raytel, in my very first stream of Black Reliquary, pretty much saved the run right off the bat because I misread the instructions, and I thought it wanted, I thought it required you to play with all the DLC on Blood Moon difficulty, which is the highest difficulty. And he was at the right place at the right time, and uh, informed me that I was extremely wrong. Hey, the stun. I hate these stealth punks. <laughs> We've totally let someone suffer through that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he saved the day. He popped in the first th first message, uh, brand new, uh, brand new to the stream says, please do not put this on Blood Moon difficulty. <laughs> uh, are you dead? No, you're not quite dead, so can we, let's try to blight you again. Yeah, there we go. These guys are all going to die to damage over time, so I'm not going to get any of their corpse loot. Uh... <laughs> He's really good. I I I I I I know there there I it's one of those things I over and over again I say it. 
Um, but I feel like I can't say enough. Every single stream, I make sure to, to, to gush about the music in this game because it's so freaking good. Oh, yeah, you get the... Yeah, so the... Yeah, I should have explained that a little better. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to use the Antiquarian's ability. You get additional loot um, if you uh, use an ability on, on the corpses that are laying there. An adequate performance These things here, them. they're worth a lot of money. We can take all the stuff. The darkness will not impede us. All right, so I'm glad we went that way. We could have tried to just not go that way and hope there wasn't a room battle there. Uh, for this mission, we are completing 100% of room battles. This land is ancient and fallen into disrepair. <laughs> we follow the ever guiding. Oh, there's endless amounts of loot. Oh my the God! Two shovels. Come. For now, there is labor. So up here, this is your torch indicator here, so you can kind of hover the mouse over it, and so we're at 94% right now. It shows the uh, the current effects that we get from the, the light. So as the light dwindles, um, chance of surprise goes up, things like that. Uh, there's a lot of various effects. So the Lost Legion, they're like a special set of enemies that are really kind of a pain. <laughs> They're very cool though, but the the less torchlight there is, the darker it gets. Um, the more likely they are to spawn. Uh, there's some cool sound effects that occur as well. Like you hear more of like ambient noise as well as the you hear more of the of the battle track that lays down. And there are there are some intense growling vocals here in the caverns that you can really only hear when the torchlight goes down. I'm gonna let it go down so you can see. It's totally worth it. So this fight's gonna suck because... Well, it may not suck. I may be able to get these guys, I think, before they, they mutate. You can camp to get all the torch back. Yep. Yeah, I don't think... That doesn't use a torch, right? Get a little little heal action here. Campfire just free torchlight, yeah. So there are some crazy people, crazy people who um, will attempt runs of the game. Uh, you know, the game is already very difficult, um, but sometimes it's not difficult enough. So, uh, I, I have on stream attempted a torchless blood moon run before, which is putting it on the highest difficulty and not using any torchlight at all. Um, and it's, it's, it's a, it's a trip. In fact, let's, let's just actually get rid of it. So we'll hear the music change here in a minute. So it gets dark. So now we'll take more stress, higher chance of being surprised and our crits will go up. We take it, it's in my inventory. Right here. Firewood. Oh, there it is. We're just gonna, we're just gonna let that play. We got one of them. Yes. Yes. Oh. Perfect stun. Ah, oh, we got one of them got the swarm. It's just harder. Yeah. Very repetitive runs. Well, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've uh, like the I think the I feel like 
is pretty rare. Like the number of runs that made it to week four, it, it was it was a while before I could even get that far, honestly. Oh, that guy in the front's not dead. He's not bleeding anymore. That's a problem. Well, he's stunned. He's he's dead now. Oh, well, maybe he's dead. No, not quite. All right, that went very well. Uh, let's see. We can get a buff. We can get a stress heal. We get some healing here. Let's let's do the cleansing salts. Yeah. Yeah. So in the base game. Um, it is three weeks before buildings, the, those upgradable buildings I showed you on the airship, uh, before they become available, which means you cannot change the skill layout for your characters until week four. And it's, the, the game will only give you, like, the, the, a set number of characters and skills, um, and it's really if they if, if you don't get a winning combination, you have to start over. <laughs> uh, we'll take some take some cash money here. Uh, ooh, amber residue and other regular amber. We can ditch the honing oil. We'll take the residue. Although I don't know if it's... Should I take that or should I just take the amber? Double for Pagan. Who's my Pagan guy? The Abomination. Everybody else is Faithless, right? Yeah. Oh no, you're Pagan too. Uh, for a battle, huh? Pretty good for the... Pretty good for the Abomination. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the time limit. You have, what, 82 weeks or something like that? Is that right? It's like... So I don't think it's it's not 90. Is it is it 86 weeks? I was close. 100 with the Crimson Court DLC. Yeah. 12 deaths. You see? Oh, that's right. Yeah, 16 with with the yeah. It's crazy. It took me like I think my first run of Darkest Dungeon that I actually beat was on. The, the 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 regular normal difficulty, but it took me like 120 weeks or something like that. I'm gonna leave the amber because I've been taking too long to decide whether or not I want it. Oh, I should probably. <laughs> Our path is revealed. March on. Should probably make sure we can see where we're going. Hello, friends. makes sense that um, we'd be surprised now. <laughs> you know what? We're going full hog. No, don't dodge it. Oh, your plate resist was 60% anyway. Oh, it's still the prep round. What am I, idiot? <laughs> I completely forgot that it was like round one. Oh, they're all regenerating. All right, they're done for now. 
You don't know who you're messing with. Because I get knocked to the ground again. <laughs> uh, well, you should definitely move up again. Yeah. Take it. Wish I had Nervous Stab. I don't know if I can risk... No, because you know what? He's going to turn the corpse into something else. <laughs> I don't want to see these bugs anymore. Take a card on the face! You can only bellow. Wow. Oh, okay. You know what? That's fine. I did not, so I didn't really talk too much about the prep round. So that is something that's completely unique to uh, to the Black Reliquary mod, is the first round of combat is the prep round, uh, which basically means there's a all accuracy is halved and critical hits are not possible. Um, so it's encur it encourages you. There are certain skills that, like if you look at this one here, um, the tracking shot, so ignores prep round, accuracy reduction, so it's, you have skills that are meant to be used on the prep round, um, which is super cool because it really promotes like a variety, so you end up not just doing the same thing over and over again, but then what does tend to happen is that you use the same skills in the first round every time. There are some classes that have a lot of options, like the Man-at-Arms has, like, if he's in the right position anyway, can, uh... There's, there's so many different things he could do on the, fr on the first round. Uh, I guess I probably ought to... Maybe not... Be... A Werewolf anymore? Crit mod plus nine... Yeah, give, give him a slam and then we'll switch back. Yeah, so like, yeah, in the base game, you want to kill, if you can kill anything in the first round, you want to do it then. Yeah, let's light him some more. Yeah, look at that. We press on, that is much to do. Uh I want the jewelry. I might ditch the residue. Maybe I'll ditch the jade actually. Yeah, truly. I know I, I was talking about this earlier, the uh with Darkest Dungeon 2 having come out recently. Um, or I guess earlier this year I wanted to love it I wanted very much to love it Darkest Dungeon is very near and dear to my heart I love this game so much it's a top 5 game for me for all of all time so when Darkest Dungeon 2 came out I tried so hard to love it I was like a, a you know I fanboyed over it and then at a certain point reality kind of set in I realized that it was just not that good um Black Reliquary, 100%, I've said it before and I'll say it again and again and again, um, man I love being a turtle, but uh, the Black Reliquary feels to me like the Darkest Dungeon 2 that we were all waiting for, and I mean that, that is not just a thing that I say. Uh, I think we're good here. <laughs> Think we're good on that treasure. Ah, oh, this is such a long dungeon. The heck is that thing? Should like 
I, I really would like to keep this skill as not a prep round action, because these things stealth in like the second round. <laughs> it's a communist truck. <laughs> How long have you been waiting to use that one? So I've been putting the I've been putting the A too soon. Uh, buff self is good. Yeah, let's let's do the buff. Combination could use a bit of a heal, but we'll get to that. I made that whole song and dance about the man at arms having a, a number of options to use on the, the first round, but bolster is the obvious choice. Uh, we can do the f we'll do the fortifying vapors now. Nice. It is. I totally agree, but it seems like in the caverns, the debuffs never go off. I guess it doesn't matter. He, he can be in that position for a while. I'd rather get some, get some hits in. Maybe a little bleed. Bellow is, has, is very often a, uh, a second round action for me, for sure. I should probably have made sure, because I think these two guys can swarm. So we'll take one of them out. I should have stunned. Should have stunned the other one though. That was a that was a judgment call. Maybe the bad one. Yeah, the D, but yeah. I've I've put those on him before actually because they, they've they've really they've come in handy for sure especially in the caverns those are like almost must have trinkets in the caverns uh, do another heal oh yeah. So one of them did swarm. <laughs> Are we building Exodia? All right. Get a little little extra loot here. Yes. Oh. Retell, you missed this. You missed a super sick virtue moment in the and was it the previous mission with the plague doctor? Oh. It was a beaut. Oh, that's actually a curio. So I'll have the option to interact with that uh, momentarily here. So a lot of these curios uh, can have different effects depending on whether or not you use an item and which item that would be. Uh, I would like the sun, the stun stone. Sun, stun stone. Wow. I'm not even the one that's been drinking tonight. Holy goodness. Oh yeah. <laughs> Snarku's the good luck charm for sure. Uh, let, uh well, I think I have a stun stone. 
So we can get some money here. I think I'd rather use the bandages because I'm going to need those shovels. Amber. Man, I, you know what? I'm ditching the residue. Sorry, residue. I think the amber is going to be more important. <laughs> she completely did not steal from the Nerev mod. Oh, no. Wrong button. Against the light, our foes will fall. Yeah. All right, we get a little break here. Okay. Uh, you grow slime-covered pots. Ooh. Citrine. I don't need a clear room for that, I don't think. Yeah, so they're kind of randomly... All these dungeons are procedurally generated, so every, every mission is a procedurally generated uh, dungeon. Um, so the curios and all that stuff. Yeah, so I think some rooms... I think there are some curios that only appear in rooms and some that only appear in uh, hallways and then some that can do both. Um, I don't, I'm not going to take the citrine. I've decided. All right, we're good. We got a got a little little reprieve here. All right, we definitely want to take the onyx though. Don't need the matak. I'm gonna get ready to. I'm getting ready to start here. Well, let's ditch one of those. Take that. You know how there's a killer button? Yeah. Oh! I like that. It's a night... Uh, oh, is that going to be a boss? <laughs> In my head, it was like, oh, that seems really cool. And then, like, it was like, uh-oh. Is this something that's going to eat me at some point? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> I definitely get it. Uh, uh, we can do without them attack. Ooh, we can get rid of a... We definitely want to do that. Light sensitive seems like the way to go. Let's try to get rid of that. Yes! Sometimes, sometimes the game just says, you know what? You're all right. You can have this one. I'm going to consider camping soon for some uh, end of the road buffs here. Uh, that required... What did I use just now? I think I used the salts, the cleansing salts. So that curio was like an altar of sorts. And I used these here, cleansing salts, to purify it. Which caused my man-at-arms, the one who used it, to uh, purge a random negative quirk. And it was the, the the one that I wanted. Which never happens. You know, this is actually an awful, awful quirk as well. I didn't realize that he... Uh, that he even ha I was so blinded by the light sensitive. Doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, let's do some do some heals. <laughs> Drift up like a deuce. Another runner in the night. Where are you going with the more, the the more modern? Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. <laughs> yes, that is what everybody hears still to this day when they hear that song. You are not alone. Do not relent. Uh, let's keep keep the heels going here. We're getting a little a little dinged up. Ha ha ha. 
No, we've heard much worse. Much worse from American themed music. Probably will not get another stun, no. Yeah, he's like 110% right now. That seems reasonable. So the way stun works too, when you stun an enemy they get a temporary buff. Um, that generally makes them immune to, to stun for at least a round. Uh, but it's really just like a, a percentage increase. Oh, so... Oh, that's... I think I'm just now realizing this for the first time ever. Slightly Seal, welcome back. Uh, it's it's actually been going pretty good here. We, we've been having some pretty good luck with some of these runs. Uh, but yeah, they, so I think I'm just now noticing that the... Uh, that the stun... The stun buff tapers down in Black Reliquary. In, in the base game, it's like a... a Plus what fifty percent or something like that for for one round. The ghoul mother went very well actually. We it uh, we were doing well. I thought we might actually kill it because we were doing some pretty good damage, and then that little punk healed it a bunch of times, and then I was displeased. Um, but we survived the five rounds. That everyone had to go into sanity treatment, but but it went well. Got most of my trinkets back. Excuse me. Pardon me. I haven't had any water for this whole stream. Because I'm a grown-up. I wish I could shoot, shoot that guy in the front. So I'm going to prioritize destroying... I should get water. Yeah. <laughs> I actually didn't intend to go this late. I thought I would be too tired to go this late, but uh, it, you know, I wanted to get one more one more mission in. Yeah, I'm only, I've only been up for like two and a half hours. That's pretty. Well, any more, I feel like it's been pretty average for me. Mmm, start the stuns. Did that seriously? He resisted the stun. Oh, unacceptable. So this guy here, this tall guy in the back, uh, can transform corpses into an enemy that debuffs my whole party. So it's nice to have something that can ditch the, uh, ditch the corpse right away. Oh man, the protection's way up on this punk. Ah, oh. no bligget. My hearts were the best. I should have bellowed. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of teeths. Many teethers. All right. Uh oh. Pickles is deciding to join the chat here. She's going to be jumping up in a second. Meow. Oh, we got the stun off on him again. Holy crap. Unreal. Hello. Here she is. She has joined. Oh, I know. Unsub, unfollow. <laughs> You're so cute. Here. I have to play a video game though, Miss Pickles. 
it's past my bedtime, so she, her her uh, preferred place to sleep at night is uh, firmly on my belly. And since I am not in bed, she can't go to sleep there, and she's mad about it. Yeah, my uh, that would not be quite a fitting name. She is she is my baby for sure, but she is kind of a kind of a jerk. <laughs> not to me. She would never dare. But she uh, does not. She just has no chill when it comes to literally any other human being on the planet. She's pretty good though with uh, my family and all that now. Like she started. It took her a while to come around though. She's gonna she's gonna push a button on my stream deck with a uh, with her tail. It's gonna happen. So if the scene changes, we know why. <laughs> Good cats are distilled perfection. Yow. <laughs> yeah, both works. Both works. Uh, both of those words work just fine, actually. Uh, yeah. Why not? Oh, I can't take him. Is this worth? Uh, I mean, we really should be taking more resources. Let's, let's get rid of the bandages. Grow okay. <laughs> and would steal cheese from you. Oh, I would never get mad at my Miss Pickles for, for snuggling. I get mad at her when she jumps up and hits my reset button on my computer uh, in the middle of a stream. That, that's when I get mad, but... <laughs> Short of that, she's fine. Ooh, we got a scout. Beautiful. And a vendor... So we must have like one, maybe two battles left. Look at this guy. Wow. Anything pertaining to Amber? Why, yes, I do. Uh, stun amulet. This is a better stun amulet. <clears throat> I think I'm probably still going to leave it behind, actually. <laughs> Oh, I was trying to remember. I know you had said some of the, some of the Levantine uh, sound effects are you too, right? Some of the grunts, the ooh, uh, and ah. Uh. Grunt and Captain are you? And Pilgrim Levy, okay. <laughs> All right, fallen dredge units. We get a buff for that, huh? Why not? Uh, I, I feel like I should camp because I feel like I would like our health situation to improve before we head into these next uh, areas. Maybe get a little buff here. All companions plus 10% damage. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll do the prevent the nagtam ambush. No range skills. Definitely do unparalleled finesse. And I think that, that does it. Okay, good. Have a whole line of VAs to reference. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a that's a heck of a skill. I always I always uh this is nothing to trouble ourselves over. I always thought I could, uh, I would, I would do okay as a voice actor. Honestly, I can do, I can do some neat things with my voice occasionally. 
the older I get, though, the, it seems like the harder that that's becoming. Um, I'm going to ignore this altar, I think. All right, we got a room battle ahead and a trap. 70, 100%, you're the guy. All right. Um, I actually, there, there have been games that I've streamed that have a lot of text dialogue that I will as just assign voices to for fun. It's not the worst, I hope. <laughs> oh, for sure. Well, especially, like, because I feel like probably a lot of voice acting work, especially in COVID times, was probably done from home, right? I just always assumed it would be in a studio. But that's probably... Probably not the norm anymore, I would think. Wow, double blight. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I'm gonna... We talked about that the last time I streamed, actually, the... Uh, use of compressors and, and, and that kind of stuff. I, I think that's something that I would very much benefit from. Yes. No swarm for you, punk. Alright. I've just been too skittish. I've been too skittish to uh, mess with those settings, but I, I gotta just do it. I haven't had time to really test them out either. That's really the thing, is like, if I... I I want to do it right, so I want to be able to play back samples till I have the settings right, and and unfortunately I just do not have the time. Noise gating, compression to clean up clips on amateur level. Yep. Right. Yeah. You are not dead. So let's make you more dead. Nope, not this time. That time, yes. Wow. 40 damage with the crits. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this battle went swimmingly. Ooh, look at all this. Oh, I want the trophy. Give me the trophy. I have a suspicion that this will probably be the end of the mission. Um. Yeah, look at that. My spidey senses were tingling. Alright. So we get a scout here, I'll 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 keep exploring. We got another curio? Nothing in the way? Heck yeah, alright. Here are the show bells. For a caverns mission this went pretty well. <laughs> I've historically not had fantastical luck here in the caverns. Beautiful. All right, let's get out of here. I can not lose the victim. Is. <clears throat> the horrors these devils commit should be forever ceased. Better the average for funsy streamer. I've been I've been toying around with the idea of getting doing the boom uh, the boom arm thing. Again, I just I get skittish. I'm worried about uh, quality. Obviously, I'd want to get something decent but affordable. And I don't have a lot of space, but I. You know, right now, my microphone takes up no space, which... But it's also, I mean, headphone mics, you're always going to lose some quality, I think, with these ones. Alright, we got our man-at-arms up to level 3. That's good news. But he does have... Some some form of disease, which I will promptly get rid of. Looks good. 
All right, let's, uh, what's he got? The rash? Let's get rid of that rash. It was a good run. Antiquarian run was a good idea. It's not about how many voices you can do, it's the ones you can master. Yep, uh-huh. Oh, Terra Strong. No one's, no one is in the, uh, Terra Strong is the goat. <laughs> Patrick Warburton. Yep. Right, exactly. I feel like I'm more in that second category, you know, like, I'm not going to do anything that like you would look you know when you when you look at me and I all of a sudden start like you're like a Seth MacFarlane for instance he starts talking in like I don't know uh like a Stewie or or one of the many thousands of other voices he plays and you're and it just it, it kind of throws you for a loop because you're all of a sudden you're seeing that different character um but like you're I'm, I'm more the like yeah you can see that happening but it's it's funny that he did that <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I think that that's probably going to do it for us tonight. It's a good place to stop on. Um, you know, when you're Justin Roiland. Yep, all right, right. Same with, uh, um, oh, I can't think of his name. What's the... It's going to drive me nuts. I have to know it. Bender. Bender from Futurama. I can't think of his name. I know his name. It's right there. I can see it in my head. But it won't make the trip to my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my god, why? Why can't I think of his name? I'm gonna have to hear her. I, I, I have to... I'm gonna kick... My, yeah, baseball player's name, yep. Voice of Bender. John DiMaggio. Good lord. That was going to drive me nuts. I had to know. <laughs> you always know. I mean, he, he plays different characters, but you always uh, you always hear it. Dana Snyder, he's another one. Fantastic voice actor, but you know it's him, you know. <laughs> Southern Bell voice on stream. <laughs> Gideon Emery? Who does he play? I'm not familiar with that name. Master Shake is iconic. Absolutely. You know, and the funny thing is, I have now seen more episodes of a kid's show called The Thundermans where he plays a uh, talking rabbit than I have of Aqua Teen Hunger Force at this place. Oh, Fan Resonate. Oh, okay. All right. I know. I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> Yeah, he's one that I, I know for sure that I hear all the time in games, and I'm like, oh yeah, he's a very common video game voice actor. Whoops. <laughs> Narrative for Blackberry picked up the captain's voice in about a week. Yeah. I, I, you told, you mentioned that before, because I think I asked you directly. I said it was, is, was he American or was he, uh, act, did he actually have that kind of, um, I don't even know what you would call it, Mediterranean accent? Um, but you told me he was from Jersey and I was like, oh my God, like I'm, I was already impressed and then that just, Seal the deal. Put it over the edge for me. <laughs> you also do a stitch? Oh, man. I'm going to be popping into your stream. <laughs> Egyptian Arabic? Okay. So, kind of. That, that general area. Very cool. I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep clicking in and out of the thing. Why am I doing that? I don't know, just not touch the mouse. Cheapers. Criminy. Um, alrighty, well, I am going to call it there tonight, folks. Um, this was a lot of fun, as always. I, I really, uh, I can never say enough good things about this, uh, um, about this mod. I'm very excited to see your Steam page, though. Do you, uh, do you have a date when that comes out? 
<clears throat> or when that will be available. A snarku, thank you. No, nothing yet. <laughs> nope. Slightly Seal, thank you as well. Snarku, appreciate you hanging out. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Raytel, as always, thank you for hanging out. Um, much appreciate all of the support tonight. I, you know, very, very awesome. Um, and yeah, it's good talking to all you guys. Uh, hope everyone enjoyed the stream. And I will be probably sending people over to Tarima if he's not passed out. <laughs> I will check. Uh, so stay tuned for that. He's playing Persona 5. Um, oh, thank you for the follow, Slightly Seal. Much appreciate that. Welcome. Get to see that new alert. Oh, I haven't seen the new alerts yet. I just I changed them all. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> I think you're the first one. Um, but yeah, so thank you again. Uh, and I hope to see you all very soon. I'm unsure whether or not I'll be able to sneak a stream in tomorrow or not, as it is New Year's Eve. So I'll probably be hanging out with the family. Um, but I am also off on Monday, so I might be on uh, Sunday night. It might be a rare Sunday night stream. So hope everyone has a wonderful night, and stay tuned for Tarima. I'll see you all very soon. Good night, everybody.